Welcome to Devo's Toolkit, the channel where we do not write, but we do read YAML. Today is Thursday and Thursdays are dedicated to answering your questions. If there is something I can help with, please post it as a comment in this or any other video. Channel members have the preference we might consider joining. Today's question comes from drybones111. It is about GitOps and formats to define resources. Here's a short and somewhat generalized version of the question. How do we use something as long as that's not YAML, to manage Kubernetes resources with GitOps. To answer that question, I need to explain how formats and tools we use to define Kubernetes resources work. We will use Helm as examples, which equally will apply to customize Carvel, YTT, KCL, Timoni, Q, or any other similar templating engine or language meant to help us define Kubernetes resources. All those tools fulfill more or less the same basic function. They allow us to write templates or code in a language of choice with their goal to transform it into YAML. When, for example, we execute Helm install, we do not install that Helm chart in a cluster, at least not directly. Kubernetes would not allow that since it allows us to send only YAML or JSON to its API. So if it's not YAML or JSON, Kubernetes will not accept it. As a result, when we execute something like Helm install, customize this and that, Timoni apply, or some similar command that is supposed to propagate the special format to Kubernetes, those tools convert it into YAML and then execute instructions similar to kubectl apply. So all those tools convert their formats to YAML before sending manifests to Kubernetes. Okay, now we can go back to the question. How do we instruct Argo CD or Flux to work with whichever format we choose to use, be it Helm, Q, KCL, YTT, JSONnet, or anything else? A simple but wrong answer to that question would be to instruct whichever GitOps tool we chose to work with those formats. Some of them are supported directly by Argo CD or Flux, while others are not. So the answer could be to use only the format that is supported by GitOps tools. That's the wrong answer. The correct thing to do is to always, and I repeat, always have the desired state in YAML and let whichever GitOps tool you choose to use it directly. Now, let me make something clear, since my previous statement could be misinterpreted. I'm not saying that you should be writing YAML. I certainly don't. I write most of my resource definitions with KCL, and you can use any format you like. YAML is frankly, horrible format to write unless we're talking about only a dozen or so lines, not more. What I am saying is that you should have your desired state in YAML. For example, you want to deduce the desired state from a Helm chart. You would need to make mental calculations to convert all variable placeholders into actual values, to exclude parts that do not match conditionals, to iterate through the loops, and so on and so forth. Helm, KCL, Q, YTT, and other similar formats make writing easier, but not reading, at least not when we are trying to deduce what the desired state of something is. YAML, on the other hand, is straightforward. If, for example, you want to know how many replicas are defined in a deployment, you just take a look at it, instead of inferring which value was used. If you would like to know what is included, you can just look at YAML instead of trying to figure out whether the expression in a conditional was met or not. So use whatever you want to define what something is, but keep the desired state in YAML. Now, to explain what all that means in practice, we need to jump into workflows. When we want to release something, we are probably running workflows that are building images, pushing them to a registry, running tests, and whatever else we might be doing. Among other things, we are probably modifying values YAML file if we are using Helm or whichever other file is allowing us to change the tag in whichever language we chose. From there on, we are publishing the modified manifest back to Git so that Argo CD or Flux pick it up and synchronize it into the cluster. And here comes the important part. Instead of modifying same file to change the tag to match the new release and pushing it back to Git, we can just as easily execute Helm template or KCL run or Timoni build or whichever other command we might be using to convert our favorite format to YAML and push the complete desired state to Git. There should be no problem doing that since it is a single additional command, sometimes not even that. And all the tools I am aware of have such a command. So do not waste 
your time trying to instruct Argo CD or Flux how to work with whatever you're using to write templates or code. It does not matter whether that format is supported natively by your GitHub's tool of choice or not. Use whichever format you want to write resource definitions, but store the desired state in Git in YAML format. There's no additional effort involved and you'll have easier time to deduce what is meant to be running. The desired state is meant to be easy to deduce and not a bunch of conditionals, loops, variables, substitutions, and other constructs we normally use. So, drybones111, thank you for asking the question and please let me know whether my answer helps. To everyone else, please post your questions in comments and consider joining the channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one, cheers.